to Django tutorial. In this video, I am going to talk about custom model manager. In last video, we talk about abstract model, and in that case, I just mention one word that you can create custom manager in abstract model, and then that can be inherited in the subclasses of models, and you can also access the data through that manager. But before that, just creating any custom manager, I will show you. Uh, default manager of the model okay so let's say for example this is we are taking example of question model and i will show you default objects okay so let's go to the cell and import this from dot from whole application dot models import question okay then import this question dot if you will see these objects, I just hit the enter button. What it says, Django.db.models.manager. So you have overrided, you have inherited that models.model, right? But this objects is already added in that models.model as an as an object of models.manager. And what models.manager has, it's a default method that is get underscore query set. And what get underscore query set method does so whenever you call this method like question dot objects dot all so when you call this all method which is available in this manager internally it will create it will call the get underscore query set method so if you want to change the behavior of this all method you have to write your own custom manager and then you can just override that get query set method whatever you want to do with that query set and just write that custom model and then all methods will have the changed behavior whatever you wanted okay so for now it will call this all method and it will give you all the objects available in database because you do not have any filter on that it means it will give you all the fields all the objects now i want to change the behavior of this all method so what you can do here you can create your custom manager here like class question manager and you just need to override that models dot manager right like this and you just need to override as i said you need to override the get query set method because whenever you call dot all method internally it will call this method first so like this you just need to write self and then first you have to call super get query set method i mean get query set method of manager class and then you need to filter out so super dot get query set and then this is again it is giving you all the objects but now you can filter out to change the behavior right so what you want to do here let's say for example i want to uh, override like status is equal to active so whenever i call the all method it should give me all the active objects only like this okay now this is just you created this question manager but question model doesn't know what is this question manager is right so what you need to do here you need to add one property here objects and you just need to create that object of question manager so you just need to write like this question manager just initialize the objects here now initially the objects was already there but that was created in models.manager in this class but now we have overrided it will override this objects and now it is instance of question manager now if you kill call objects.all method that all method is again available in manager method manager class but internally it will call get query cell method and the list get query set method will be called that means this method will be called and it will filter out all the data through this status now let's understand and let's access that through that model okay now let me again import that question here question dot objects dot all this time it is giving me null query set why because i have all the objects are in active now what I will do here, let me create one thing. If I want all objects, 
right so all objects i will create separate method for that i have just changed the behavior of default all method but still i want all objects so how can i do that so for that you need to just write super dot get query set and do not filter anything in this case and if you want and one more thing that is f and if you want inactive objects like this inactive self if you can call this as a self dot get query set but if you will do this then it will give you only those objects which has status active that means it will not be useful in inactive objects so again you have to call this or maybe you can call self dot all objects and then dot filter status is equal to inactive okay and just return it like this so what happens when you call all method it will give you only active objects when you call uh, objects dot all objects it will give you all objects when you call objects dot inactive it will give you those objects only which has inactive status so now let me restart the cell and call it again i have imported a question model here now let me call this all method first it will again it is giving me a uh, blank because we do not have any now if i call this all objects like this it will give me all the objects right now if i call inactive as you can see the method is available now it is giving me this now let me do one thing i will just change the status of one question inactive to active so what I, how can i do that i am just taking one object from here q and q dot status is equal to active and q dot save okay now if i call inactive now as you can see we have 1 2 and 3 objects earlier it was 1 2 3 4 objects if i call all objects still it will give me four objects why because it contains active and inactive both now if i call on the all object it will give me one object which has active status now you can see how we can use custom manager to have us different different methods which will which will give you all the objects which are required for that particular method so that's it from this video uh, this is for custom manager if you have learned something new from this video again please hit the like button and please share and subscribe this channel with your friends and share the knowledge with them also please help them out okay so thank you very much again and see you soon in the next video